I'm live? Yeah. Great. I'm just waiting for that one answer from Hugh. Ricardo, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so today um, we just launched the cargo landing gear kit for Alta X, and I just wanted to briefly go over it and highlight some of the features. Um, there's a bunch of different variations and variants that you can set this thing up with. Um, so I just wanted to talk through them and give people a brief overview. And then if, if anyone has any questions, also wanted to answer those. Um, but you can see I've got my LaCroix, actually no, Spindrift today, stored in this nice little box from Uline. And so one of the options that we have with the new cargo landing gear and accessory plate is we made the ability to mount um, a platform for carrying things on the top of Alta. So we had some customers that were really interested in uh, carrying packages and boxes and all kinds of things on top of Alta. Um, one, of the, one of the customers was using this super lightweight U-line corrugated box on the top of Alta um, to transport things. And so Charles designed this cool uh, two and a half millimeter carbon plate has a bunch of mount points, has a bunch of points to put cargo nets, uh, shock cord, also nylon straps, however you want to attach, whatever you need to attach. You can still use the Alta in the normal way. You have access to the plugs, that kind of stuff um, when you install the cargo plate. Um, but yeah, it allows you to have a nice flat platform on top to carry packages, carry boxes, carry whatever. Um, and then you can use this with you could use this with either the cargo landing gear on the bottom of the aircraft or you could use the sky view landing gear. So it makes a nice big platform on top, very adaptable. Um, another way you can set up to carry things uh, is you can install this cargo plate on the bottom of the cargo landing gear so you can carry boxes and such on the bottom. You know, if you had one of these, you wanted to carry down there, um, whatever it might be. And then additionally on the cargo landing gear, uh, we've, we're offering all these accessory clamps for the 15 millimeter tubes and the 25 millimeter tubes to mount anything that you might wanna mount on either these 15 millimeter tubes or these 25 millimeter tubes. Everything's built to be adaptable and expandable. So if you wanna make this crossbar longer, you can. If you wanna make these bars longer, you can. If you wanna make these, if you wanna make the gear shorter or taller, you can. Um, we set up, like as an example, this is a shorty version of the cargo landing gear that somebody was experimenting with here. Um, and then I thought I would just go over a couple of the features. So we have on the bottom side of the cargo landing gear, um, we've got a kind of an all purpose mount here where you can mount toad in the holes, um, a variety. It's just, there's a bolt pattern on this piece. So it's a toad installed on that one too. Uh, so you can mount whatever you want to there. Uh, this piece can slide. It can it can slide on these tubes. It, it's just a clamping piece. We've got accessory mounts here. The ability to put pop and lock mounts on the 25 millimeter tubes and the 15 millimeter tubes. And then these uh, machine parts that are kind of the cross braces on here, you can, you can change these too, depending on what you need. They're clamping pieces. So you can slide them up, slide them down. Um, some customers have been running without the cross pieces if needed. You know, we have a lot of people flying LIDARs these days. Um, so we can set this up so that LIDAR quick releases on and off of here very simply. So you can fly your LIDAR. Imagine that the cargo plate wasn't here and the sidebars that weren't there. Maybe a slightly different setup for what we would do. Um, but you can fly your LIDAR. You can quick disconnect it when you're done. Throw it in the case. Um, you know, quick disconnect this whole landing gear from everything if needed. And then one other piece that we launched recently was um, this kind of shorty uh, toad mount. So a lot of the people who were gonna fly cargo payloads and such, they didn't necessarily need the vibration isolator on the bottom of the aircraft. And that thing does weigh, the vibration isolator for cinema and camera, it weighs quite a bit. So if you wanna cut that off, you'll increase your flight time and you'll reduce the height of the Alta plus cargo landing gear or whatever you have mounted underneath. So this new new toad designed especially for Alta X, um, it can mount on the top or the bottom of Alta X and it'll give you a rigid mount point to mount cargo landing gear or whatever you wanna mount. Um, we recently released a video that Daniel put together that shows a whole bunch of different use cases. He was flying this nice remote megaphone from Foxtech. He was flying 
uh, some of his super bright LED lights. He was flying a LIDAR. He's kind of flying all kinds of stuff. He made a little box dropping mechanism that he was lowering boxes down. Um, so yeah, we tried to make this kit just a really good starting point for people that want to adapt Alta X for their custom needs. Um, th this cargo plate only works, the, the actual carbon plate only works on Alta X, but uh, the cargo landing gear can work on any of our drones. It just attaches with a standard toad in the hole mount. So very adaptable there. You can use it on Alta 6, Alta 8, any of those things. Um, let's see, what else do we want to go over? Do we have any questions? Anyone ask any questions that we should go over? I hope that you all can hear the drip that we have going in our, we just set up a live studio. Uh, and right after we set it up, we had a leak from the AC unit above and it's now dripping down into a, into a large trash can. So um, the nice thing about this plate, it has, it works with the, with the Alta X as set up. It's got a cutout for the RTK antenna and GPS. And um, you don't lose any of the functionality when it comes to folding. Uh, so you can still, let me get this off of here. You can still fold the unit up, folds up very small, no loss in functionality there. And we, we try and design everything when it comes to the toad in the hole, the quick releases, the folding. Um, the big thing that frustrated me in, my, in the early days of aerial cinematography is I would get done filming and it would take me two, three, four, five, six hours to pack up sometimes, take this crazy helicopter apart and put all the stuff away in the case. And so we have really focused on building these things to be as modular as possible. And when you wrap at the end of the day, we want you packed up and ready to go in five minutes. So you're getting dinner with the crew rather than um, turning wrenches like I was for hours and hours and hours. In my early aerial days, he was out having dinner and partying with the crew while I was putting helicopters in cases. So. We try to never make people do that. Um, but yeah, I think that's a pretty good overview of, our, of the cargo landing gear and the uh, accessory plate and a lot of the accessories we've come up with. And I think it's a great way. It's a great way to deliver a spin drift, a spin drift to a friend on a hot day. And I think we're good. Uh, this has been an expensive day for Daniel and I think we'll sign off at that point. Bye-bye.